this video we're going to look at how to use FX equation in LibreOffice Writer. To begin with we need to make sure we've got LibreOffice Writer open and also uh, FX equation uh, open ready to go. Um, both of those need to be on your taskbar or your dock if you're using a Mac. The second thing we need to do, and we only need to do it the first time, is we need to tell FX equation that we're working with LibreOffice or OpenOffice. So we go to the connection button and say target LibreOffice. To insert an equation, the first thing we do is go to insert, go down to object and across to formula. Most mathematics teachers will actually add that to their toolbar. We insert a formula and LibreOffice offers you an equation editor, but it's a little bit messy to use. What FX equation can do is make using it much simpler. So we're going to use FX equation as an equation generator. So we'll switch over to FX equation, type in our equation. And once we're happy with our equation, click on the green check mark. That will paste that equation, or that will copy that equation into your clipboard in a format that's so suitable for LibreOffice. So I go down to the equation entry bar and paste in what I've got. Um, so FX equation has created this to paste in and there's a formatted version in my document. If I need a second equation, I repeat the process, insert object formula, we'll go back to equation, create a new one. And click on the green check mark and again go down here and paste in my command. Editing one of these equations can't be done in FX equation. It's now a LibreOffice equation. So if I want to change that, I can go in and change the equation. I might change that 3 to a 4, but it's actually done inside LibreOffice. FX equation is being used as an equation generator rather than an editor. And that's all there is to using FX equation with LibreOffice. The process is exactly the same on a Mac machine.